Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to go ahead and modify position 3 here and set up its stock condition. In order to do that we're going to do an in-place modification. So I'm going to select the part, right click, and choose in-place edit. And again, a power user trick just to share that with you is if you double click on the part while in the assembly context, it does the same thing as in-place edit. Now the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to trim off that back side. So I'm going to go to trim. I'm going to trim by plane. I'm going to use the face there. And like always, the arrow points to the side to remove. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a sketch right here. We'll look straight at it. And now let's go ahead and copy our boundary edges. I'm going to go ahead and be on path between two edges. Grab that segment. And as you can see, it found the silhouette automatically, which is kind of cool. And I'm also going to offset that outer profile again some distance. Um, oops, I don't want that outer profile. I want the one below it. There we go. Perfect. And done. And now we're going to go ahead and cut a pocket. And when I cut this pocket, you'll notice that I have some fillets being activated right here. That's because I have my vertical radius option activated and blends in fillets. If I turn that off, you see the fillet goes away. But again, I know I'm going to use a 3 quarter inch end mill to profile in the previous operation, so that's going to leave a little fillet there, which is perfect. And in this case, we want to not cut all the way through. We want to change our depth type to go up to a plane. And what plane? The bottom face there. But we want our tool actually to go a little bit past that. So what we're going to do there is we're going to activate an offset. I'm going to go down a sixteenth of an inch further. Perfect. And I'll click OK. Like that, we have that operation set. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and add some material back on this side because, again, on this operation, we're going to machine off this face back here, but only to a little bit distance below there. So I'm going to add some material back, and there's lots of ways to go about doing this. I'm just going to choose the simplest I can think of, which is right here. I'm going to build a sketch on that face, and I'm going to go ahead and build a little rectangle. And I'm going to say I want that rectangle to be here to there. I'm going to delete this dimension because I don't need it. You can do it just with a simple right click. You can select it, delete it, who cares. I'm going to drag that point over to there. 562 and a half, that's fine too. And now we're going to go ahead and add a boss. Now, when we add our boss, I'm going to turn off my fillets, and I'm going to come down the other way. And in this case, we want to add our boss down to this face. So I'm going to right click on the grip and switch to plane here. Now you'll notice this time that I'm just doing it dynamically on the screen versus going to the dialog box. Again, the choice is yours. You can work any which way you want. I'm going to select that face and I'm going to come here and add an offset and I'm going to offset it back a sixteenth of an inch. Perfect. Finally, I'm going to go add a corner radius here because I know that the tool I'm using is going to have a 30 second corner radius on it. Now that looks exactly like it will after op two. The final step is also in that other op, we're going to machine out this pocket or this slot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that also. So we'll build a quick sketch there. We'll copy that profile and we'll go ahead and create a pocket. And again, when I create my pocket, I'm going to do the whole up to a plane with an offset. And the reason I'm doing this up to planes with an offset is because if the customer changes their part, this representation will all update automatically also. So I'm, again, I'm going to go to a sixteenth of an inch. We're good. Everything is ready to go. I'm going to exit out of my in-place edit. Let's zoom out, look at our three operations here so far. So we're starting with a blank piece of material. When we rough everything over here, this is going to be the result of that. So now when we start doing toolpath on this, the goal is to machine off this face, machine the back side of the profile there, machine that pocket, and machine the outer profile here to look like that. So now the last thing to do is to replicate this, control, drag, and drop, and we want to go frame to frame positioning. We're going to edit that frame on frame positioning and rotate the x-axis 180 degrees, not 18, 180. Click OK. We're done. And finally, we're going to go ahead and derive this part for modification as well. Select it so we can find it in our tree over here. And we'll go ahead and rename that to Stock Op 4. And in the final video here for at least the stock preparations, we're going to go ahead and do the modeling necessary for this final step.